Hello and good morning, everyone. We've been talking about Moses and the things he was doing at God's instruction. He was told to free the Israelites. He turned the Nile into blood in Pharaoh's presence. Pharaoh was unimpressed. Multiple times he continued to refuse Moses and refuse God. God unleashed frogs, flies, gnats, and more. Pharaoh still refused. But God wasn't finished. Like we said last time, not even close. We're going to fast forward a bit here. Turning the Nile to blood was God's first plague on Egypt. We're going to skip through to the seventh, because that's when God took the gloves off of his strong hand. Suffice it to say that each plague was devastating to Egypt and the Egyptians, but Pharaoh kept doing this thing, you see, where he said he would let the Israelites go and just didn't. And God was getting very, very tired of it. So tired of it, he told Moses to go tell him, Look, buddy, I could have wiped you off the face of the planet, but I didn't. Why? Because I'm going to make a point. I'm going to show you just how strong I can be. And he was not kidding. He rained hail. Hail the likes of which Egypt had never seen. And he only made things worse from there. Pharaoh was still stubborn. The last plagues made the first ones which were bad to begin with, look like kitty play. He rained hail, he sent consuming locusts, he covered the entire land of Egypt in darkness. But Pharaoh was still stubborn. So God did one more thing. He told the Israelites he would keep them safe while he killed the firstborn son of every living thing in Egypt. The livestock, the animals, even the people. Even... Pharaoh's own son. Now, finally, he might let them go. <laughs>